Hello and welcome to Paula Oxenmaker, your professional oxen coach. What I do for a living is teaching people particular accents of English. But wait a minute, which accents? Which accent should I learn? Which one would be better for me? British or maybe American? How am I supposed to know how to find out? Here I am, ready to help you solve this riddle. There are many various British accents and a plethora of American ones. However, what people mostly want to learn is the general contemporary version of Southern English accent, something that I call contemporary RP, soft RP. And in case of American accent, they want to learn something which is called standard American or general American. Which one is the best for you? Here in this film, I will try to discuss potential advantages and disadvantages of each accent and I hope these hints will help you make the right decision. Let's start with discussing the British accent. Advantages of the British accent. British accent gives you the impression of intellectual sophistication. Everybody asked about their impressions of the British accent says that they perceive it as very elegant and posh. And that's true. Thanks to very prolonged vowels, melodious intonation and a very particular way of linking phrases and words, this accent can give you an impression of elegance, touch of style and sophistication. Some people call it even aristocratic sounding. This aristocratic, sophisticated sounding very often is associated with education, proper formation, intelligence and even higher social class. Speaking with a British accent will make you sound competent, trustworthy and reliant. And these are not just my subjective opinions, personal impressions or rumours. I have followed a number of researches and experiments testing how people react to different accents of English. One social experiment was about assessing the truthfulness of potentially untrue sentences depending on which accent they were pronounced with, British or American. The sentences went like, giraffes can hold their breath underwater for two minutes or the shortest war in the history was between England and Zanzibar. So it was very difficult for people to assess if these sentences were true or not. The only determining factor was which accent these sentences were pronounced with. And the results were, if such sentences were pronounced with a British accent, 90% of respondents claimed they were true. Whereas if these sentences were pronounced with an American accent, then the credibility of them dropped to 55-60%. So as you can see, sometimes even pronouncing nonsensical phrases but with a British accent can make people believe you. And having an American accent might make you risk not being taken seriously. And now let's talk about disadvantages of the British accent. Many people claim this accent is considered to be too official, cold, arrogant, snooty, or even, I'm quoting, overly feminine or bitchy. It stems from the fact that some people might be irritated by the overly modulated intonation, excessively prolonged vowels and very characteristic phrasing. So yes, this would can give you an impression of being intellectually sophisticated can at the same time backfire and make people simply, well, not like you very much. Another fairly important factor is that British accent might be relatively difficult to understand by some foreigners, especially the ones coming from Asia. In British accent, very often it happens that we reduce or even totally skip some sounds and as a result, this accent is perceived as way less clear than a very articulate American one. So there is a risk that people might not understand you. And it has happened to me that I had to, for example, repeat my order in a restaurant a couple of times because the waiter simply didn't understand me. 
and our conversation went like this. What would you like to drink, madame? I'd like to have a glass of water. Glass of what? Water. Well, what? Water. Can I have a glass of water, please? A uh, water! Of course, thank you, madame. Such things can happen and be prepared for it. And now let's talk about the American accent. This accent is very clear and very articulate because we pronounce way more sounds than we do in the British equivalent. So the problem of potentially not understanding you doesn't really exist here. People will consider you as a clearly speaking person. Another benefit is that the American accent is perceived as the more friendly, approachable and easygoing version of English. People usually connote this accent with the songs, movies, series, pop culture, generally entertainment. They are more familiar with this accent because this is the one they're usually more exposed to. Therefore, they will also consider you to be more familiar, somehow known, of the same sort, of the same family, especially if they're also speaking with American accent themselves. It helps you to establish social bonds with people a little bit quicker than in case of the British accent. Apart from entertainment, this accent is also very often associated with startups, technology, high-tech, Silicon Valley, etc. That's why very often people involved in the high-tech industry decide to go for this accent as some kind of external help to make them feel the vibe of the field. Disadvantages of the American accent. However, American accent also has its drawbacks. Most notably, this is this kind of accent that isn't associated right away with seriousness, reliability, and trustworthiness, unfortunately. In many experiments I followed, people speaking with American accent were perceived as more manipulative, cunning, and ruthless, or overly positive, excessively enthusiastic, and as a result, simply fake and hypocritical. As I said before, this accent is very often connected with show business and media, so very often simply entertainment and fun. It will not give you the impression of sophistication and uniqueness if this is what you're aspiring to have. It might also make you perceived sometimes as a not a very serious person and I am very sorry to say it, not very clever. Many contemporary characteristic tendencies of an American accent made it perceived as a little bit um, goofy one. For example, this is app talk, so these are people who constantly speak like this. Or these are people who like, say, like all the time as if they had a like, nothing else like to say. Or these are Californian ladies, like, for example, inspired by Kardashians who are speaking with a very characteristic for California voice fry. All of these have had a fair share of making this accent synonymous with not being particularly right. And in the experiment I mentioned before, the untrue sentences pronounced with an American accent were perceived as untrue in opposition to the British accent which made them sound real. So which one to choose then? To sum up, if you want to sound sophisticated, professional, competent, educated and serious, go for the British one. But bear in mind that you might be potentially perceived as cold, unapproachable and too official. If you'd like to be perceived as a more friendly, easygoing, positive, bubbly and energetic one, go for the American accent. But remember, you might also be potentially considered to be annoying, fake 
or goofy. Of course, the final choice is only yours and very often is extremely individual. You might have a new job waiting for you in a given country, you might have a partner, you might simply want to move to a particular country or sometimes you have no choice. Ideally, you go for the accent that you have private preference and inclination to. The most important thing is to speak not with the accent you think you should speak, but with the one you feel organically, deeply and personally connected with. And no matter which one you choose, on my channel you will find information, motivation and tutorials about both of them. Which accent is your favourite one? Which one do you speak with? Please share with me in the comment section. Thank you for watching another episode of Paula Accent Maker. I hope to see you again soon. Goodbye.